Mary the little snail and Dolly the ladybird play with their forest friends in their happy little world. Dolly the ladybird and Mary the little snail always fun games to play, always a brand new tale. Mary and Dolly say, what will we learn today? Earache. It was a sunny autumn afternoon and Dolly decided to go and see her friend Berry. I'm going down to the stream to collect pebbles. Do you want to come? But Berry didn't feel like going out to play. I don't know, Dolly. I'm very cold and I've got a headache and my ears really hurt. Oh, Berry, your ears are all red, Dolly said. And you've got a temperature. I'll fly and fetch Dr Owl. The ladybird flew straight to Dr Owl's tree. Dr Owl, you need to come quickly. Berry feels very poorly. Dr Owl quickly packed his doctor's bag, put on his white coat and hurried to see the sickly snail. Hello there, Berry. Let me have a look at you. I need to listen to your chest. So Berry took off his pyjama top and breathed in like the doctor said. Open wide. I need to look at your throat now. I don't want to, Berry snapped. But I have to see if it's red or not, Dr Owl explained and shone a torch down the little snail's throat. And now I'll take a peek inside your ear. This was really too much for Berry. He started to cry and clamped his hands over his ears. Don't be silly, Berry. It won't hurt a bit. And Dolly held Berry's hand to make him feel better. She was right. It didn't hurt a bit. Well, Berry, Dr Owl explained, you've bad earache. You've gone and caught a nasty cold. You need to have a spoonful of this medicine every day. Drink lots of sweet tea and put bags of warm wheat on your ears. Berry's friends came to help him right away. Balthazar brought honey, Flutter brought chamomile flowers and Stanley brought rose hips and they made tea for the patient. Dolly warmed the wheat in a pan and poured it into little cloth bags. Hold these on your ears until they cool down. Berry put the bags on and didn't take them off until they cooled down. Next morning, Dolly found a handful of shiny pebbles on Berry's table. Wow, Berry, lovely pebbles. Who gave you these? I found them down by the stream, Berry said proudly. You went down to the stream? Dolly asked angrily. That was very silly, Berry. You're still not better. You'll get sick again. And Dolly was right. Berry was soon back in bed with a temperature. His little friends came to visit him every day. They read him stories and put on puppet shows. But just as Berry started to get better, Dolly started feeling worse. Now she'd got earache, and this time Berry took care of Dolly. He made her tea and warmed the wheat bags for her ears. Now it was time for Dr Owl to pay Dolly a visit. Gracious me! It seems we have a new patient. I think you must have caught it from Berry. He told Dolly exactly what to do. Then he took another quick look at Berry. You look well enough, but I'll examine you just in case. Everything's fine. You've made a full recovery, little snail. Another few days passed. Dolly did as she was told and took her medicine. She drank plenty of tea and stayed in bed, and she soon felt much better. Dr Owl came to see her one last time and told her she was fine. So now we can go down to the stream together and collect pebbles. Berry was very excited. Hooray, let's all go down to the stream, Dr Owl's three chicks tweeted. Remember to dress up nice and warm. It's cold outside. But there was no need to warn Dolly and Berry. They both wore a scarf, a hat and warm boots. They stayed and played until it got dark and collected a whole bucket full of shiny pebbles. <laughs> <laughs>